I was fearful after Dallas and the Louisiana instance that this would continue, and it has continued. And we really need to look at what type of trend we're facing at this point in time and how to stop it. Police in the crosshairs after more ambush style attacks on cops across the country over the weekend. The Omaha police chief addresses the concerns he has for his employees. Todd Schmoder not only has the responsibility of keeping us safe, but also the 860 officers under his command. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Emily Zink. Chief Schmoder told us today while this is a dangerous time for officers on the streets, there is one reason why he feels our men and women in blue may be safer than others. Capital murder is still unknown. Across the country, police officers feel like they're under attack. The officer says he saw the muzzle flashes and felt the glass breaking in his window as the shots came through and struck him in the head. From St. Louis to San Antonio, over the past few weeks, multiple officers have been ambushed while on the job. These were our friends. Um, they are our coworkers. The Omaha Police Department knows what it's like to lose one of its own. In May of 2015, Officer Carrier Rosco was shot and killed. After the Dallas police shootings in July, OPD put on specialized trainings to give officers an edge while on the job. Omaha police officers have, have decided, hey, this is a very dangerous time across our country. It's a very critical time. Policing is desperately needed, and they've decided let's be a model for the country. Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmader says departments have to actively work to combat the problem. He believes eventually the trend of police shootings will fade. Collectively, the country has to come up with some solutions, enhancement in mental health, enhancements in police community relations, enhancements in these early warning trackings that can pick up some of these errant individuals. Chief Schmader says here in Omaha, police have a good relationship with the community. Our population is willing to work with officers and look out for them, leading to an atmosphere of mutual respect. The positive relationship keeps both officers and citizens safe. We love to interact with the public, and when it's a positive interaction like that, the only, only thing it does is motivate us to make this city better. From treats being dropped off at precincts to handshakes and hugs, Chief Schmader tells me his officers are overwhelmed by the community support they're receiving right now. 